What's going on everyone? It's James from The Paint People and today we're gonna talk about something that is really, really fun. It's the bare paint color trends for 2025. We recently did a live reaction to Benjamin Moore's color of the year, but before I dive into those color trends, I wanted to go back to bare paints because it is pretty interesting now knowing what other companies are doing, what Bear did because they sort of were early to the party. Let's get into it. And of course, if you love painting, decorating, color and color theory, press that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already, because we do these videos every week and a live stream every week. We have a lot of fun here. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen here. So this is the 2025 Color Trends palette by Bear Paint. And I gotta say, more so than maybe other paint companies, I feel like they've given us a good amount of variety here. If my math is correct, we got 15 color choices, plus the color of the year, giving a total of 16 options. And it's arranged in three nice rows of colors where you have kind of these pastel options up top, your more rich mid-tones here, and then your darker, deeper accent colors, I suppose you could say, on the bottom. And then going down the ways, they're kind of arranged from warm to cool, really. You have these electric golden reddy colors here, and then some more warm neutrals, middle of the road greens, cooler greens, and then finally your blues and your grayish colors. What a world we live in. You don't need to physically go to a paint store anymore. Get your paint and supplies from our shop, thepaintpeople.com. Whether you're doing it yourself or you're a professional, thepaintpeople.com has all your paint and paint related needs. So check it out in the description down below. So already there's a lot of thought that was put into this palette, how it's arranged. And if we start clicking through here, we have up top colors like Nutmeg Frost. What kind of looks like a beige actually has a bit of a peachy pink tone to it, which is really nice. You then have Blank Canvas, which is a previous color of the year of last year for Bear Paint. And it is just essentially a really clean, simplified, slightly warm white, which is good. So anything you need painted white, namely ceilings, trim doors, Walls, if you do want an actual blank canvas, I think that's a good choice. Another good blank canvas color is even better beige, in my opinion. And this is something that's going to give you a little bit more coloration than a white. So if you don't want to go for just sterile walls, this is a nice option. It's a bit of a balance between beige, gray, and maybe a touch of green, which is a bit of a green age. I love green age. And then these last two are, you know, maybe pseudo accent colors. Frosted Jade's beautiful, I think. It's just this nice minty fresh Colgate color that I think in accent use, just to sort of finish things off, I think that's a really fun option. And then you do have Rock Crystal. I guess when you have 16 colors to work with, maybe it's okay to have at least one gray kind of put in the mix, but that's just me. Quickly going through these middle ones, Jackfruit, which is super energetic and total accent color. Maybe like a really bold kitchen color if you have a lot of white cabinets to help kind of balance things out a bit. You know, like let's say your bulkheads and stuff. You just have a little bit of wall poking through. Maybe you can put some jackfruit up there, but it's extremely energetic, electric color. Tread softly. Oxford Street. This is something that I see a lot more now with paint colors. It's the embrace of brown and tan. This is kind of that color, a little more on the gold side of things, gold leaning ochre kind of color. Not much to say here. Wild truffle, which is basically a taupe, like a very earthy, almost mushroom leaning taupe, very gray forward. And then you have another green and not a gray, but a bit of a sky blue, which is fun. And then to finish things off along the bottom row, we have your dark colors. So colorful leaves, very rich, rusty color. I feel like rust has been kind of around for the last couple of years and it's still here. The red undertones are a thing with color trends. Gardener's soil is an interesting one. I really like this color actually. It is essentially a blackened brown, but it has just a little bit of green. Like it is sort of that topsoil type of color that I think is an interesting take on mixing charcoal with green. It really lends itself to the other colors in this palette, I think, like those warmer colors, a little bit of green, if you are going towards cool. Then Amazon Jungle, which is more of a traditional, like avocado kind of green. Like it's a little more yellow undertoned, a little more energized. I think this is the one that sort of stands out for good or for bad, right? It doesn't necessarily fit as well with the other colors that are more blue leaning and cooler, but that could be just what you're looking for. And then you have have your dark colors, black sapphire, which is an immensely inky navy blue. And then you have cracked pepper to finish off. This is great. So we already had blank canvas, which was last year, 2023's color of the year. And then you have cracked pepper, which is 
this year's 2024 color of the year. So I like when they do that. I really enjoy when companies are okay with revisiting previous colors of the year in their color trends palettes. Some people might think it's a bit easy, a bit lazy to just reuse the same colors, but if they were good enough, if they were profound enough to be colors of the year, then hopefully they're relevant for more than just a year, if that makes sense, especially these last two. I mean, you have blank canvas, which is an off-white, and then you have cracked pepper, which is essentially an off-black. It's charcoal, right? Those are two different paint colors that can be used in a variety of ways. And then, of course, we have the color of the year, which is rumors. I've talked about this one before. I do think it is a pretty cool choice of a color of the year. As you can see here from these photos, it's very rich, very dynamic, and there's a number of ways to use it. If you want to color wash it throughout an entire room, if you want to have it in your kitchen, on your cabinets, maybe on the lowers, and then everything else is much lighter to give you that sense of balance, you can double down with the dark colors and have dark, beautiful, rich, cracked pepper doors, and then continue your color of the year onto your trim. So it's just kind of enveloping the whole space. And I find it works really well when you have lighter floors, when you have lighter furniture, when you have these beautiful big windows as well, right? So all that light's coming in, it's not gonna feel too dark. Really like what Bear did here, honestly, because Bear Paint, for all intents and purposes, they are a company that is pretty well known, especially in North America, right? They often get labeled as the DIY paint company, the paint company for everyone. It's easily accessible. You don't need to find a Sherwin-Williams store specific Specifically, Home Depots are kind of plopped up everywhere. So it is a big box brand. They've given us a palette here that has quite a bit of variety, a little bit of neutrals, but also a lot of saturation. So hopefully that encourages us to explore color and, and have fun with our paint choices because it is very fun when you can kind of switch it up and express yourself creatively. That's it for this one. See you on the next one.